All right. This one's called Treasure Maps, Love Letters, and Ransom Notes. Oh, so I just got a little bit of a preamble, so... Um, Hold on. Listeners, you can't see this, um, but this book here, I'm holding up a pink book. It's got drawings in it. Me and my friend Josh made this, and um, for Art Week last year, Josh was like, hey, do you want to read the book in the window of a shop, and I'll tattoo the pictures on you, and then people will come, and I was like, yeah, sweet, and I did, and then I wrote a poem about it. It's called uh, Treasure Maps, Love Letters, and Ransom Notes. Getting tattooed in the shop window reading poems for Art Week, words I wrote in the eye of a cyclone four years previous, the needle drumming my skin thinking, selfies in a car crash, dog bites in public sex, performing last Saturday to a handful of drunks who slipped through my fingers kicking worn souls at night shift gods, defeated I walk off stage, drink myself dumb, talk in circles to my words for giddy and I sit in a taxi mute and alone. Getting tattooed in a shop window reading poems for Art Week, the city's breath stinks like toothpaste and booze. The rain's been spitting at the night for hours now, and everyone stopped pretending they got somewhere important to be. Josh in a balaclava, me wearing the yellow shorts I brought in Manhattan for $10, my one extravagance. I wore them to the MoMA, staring at all that priceless madness. Getting tattooed in a shop window reading poems for Art Week or Idiot Month or Dickhead Tuesday. One endless sigh drifting out my mouth like smoke. No piece of paper to certify my dreams. I just kept turning up until I learnt the words. I never wanted to confuse anyone, just make you feel the same as me for a few minutes. A complicated party trick like backflips or beatboxing something free that makes you exist. Getting tattooed in a shop window reading poems for Art Week, painting myself with my own blood to cure my invisibility sickness. I don't even know if I like art. It makes me feel poor and stupid. At school, we were taught to keep our voices quiet as our dreams, and then I met people, people who had worn the same smile their entire lives, and I realized some people have careers and educations, others clutch shopping lists of stupid mistakes, but we all end up at the same hospitals and parties. <laughs> 